Okay, so this is my solution to the problem with the Honeybee King tail. Um, basically, the default tail doesn't allow full movement of the pitch slider. And so what I did was um, I replaced the tail hub with one that I had from a Diablo. Uh, a T-Rex tail hub would work also. I used the metal one here, but um, the plastic one is the same size. Basically, the Honeybee King shaft tail shaft is the same size as the T-Rex tail shaft, so um, it's just a plug-in part. All right. The reason I used the, uh, the T-Rex or the Diablo tail here is so that the balls would fit. And you can see that I used the pitch slider. Let me move this around. There we go. <coughs> so I used the pitch slider from a uh, T-Rex. This is a plastic pitch slider. And then I connected that to the to the T-Rex bell crank. Now, on the on the bell crank, you do have to make a slight modification to this part right here. Uh, basically, it's too thick, so what you do is you pop out the T-Rex bearings, and then uh, you use an X-Acto knife or a Dremel to uh, grind it down some, and then you take the the brass bushing out of the Honeybee King part, and you push the brass bushing in in place of the bearings, and then it just bolts right on. And uh, also, I used the ball from the Honeybee King uh, bell crank. So I've got the ball from the Honeybee King bell crank screwed on to the bell crank from a T-Rex, going to the pitch slider for a T-Rex, going into a, uh, a T-Rex style uh, tail. Um, obviously, the uh, carbon fiber blades are probably a little bit overkill for this uh, for this helicopter. I think I paid more for the tail blades than uh, probably for the rest of the helicopter. But anyway, that is one possible solution to the problem with the Honeybee King pitch slider. Thanks.